I'm here with Maria Bamford. Maria, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me on oh the program. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Uh, you know, I hope I don't embarrass you when I say that you are my favorite comedian on planet Earth. I, I heard you years and years ago with Mark Maron on the old Air America radio, and I thought, who is this person with these extraordinary voices? This deeply troubled person with extraordinary voices. Listen, Stephen, a lot of people don't think that uh, I'm this confident woman inside. No, that I have those voices because this one is so uh, less than what I hoped for. <laughs> <laughs> is this, is this, is this voice yeah, the voice you grew it. up my with? My sister has this voice. My sister's a physician. She has this voice. Think of how hard it is for her. Um, mm -hmm. And you have trouble doing impressions of your sister, I understand, because she sounds so much like you. Yeah, so I just bite my nail. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. right now, my sister has become a life coach is in addition to... Mm -hmm. uh, this is you growing up in uh, yeah, Little Lake Pequot, Minnesota? Is that yeah, what it is? Duluth. Look at that. Oh. Look how happy you that's, are. That's a home perm. <laughs> I gave that to my, my saw. <laughs> and, and this is your mom and your dad. That's you do impressions of them all the time. Yes. How, are, how is your family? I love uh, when you talk about your family. They're very good. They're always uh, very positive. My mom is like she's high all the time. They were, uh, oh, honey, we're in Turkey. And the, the hotel's on fire. And the imam is telling us to leave. But, you know, we just wrapped ourselves in a Canadian flag. And we're going to... Go shopping. I mean, some of the shops are open. <laughs> She's having a great time. Not every hotel yeah. has an imam. That's yeah, very, no, exactly. You got to get a really good one to get an imam in your hotel. <laughs> yeah. They were, yeah, they they are ridiculous. They will travel anywhere and uh, under dangerous circumstances. It turns out. Now, do you do you get home very often back to Minnesota? Yes. I uh, yeah, I'm there probably every three to four months. They really, do you have to return there. home like Ultraman to re you know to soak up the energy of your home sun so you have power? <laughs> Uh, do you have to go back there to stay in touch with what made you what you are? I, pr I think, well, they're, they're lots of fun. They're pretty, uh, they're, they're, they're funny people. Like, uh, even during dark times, I know um, the depression runs in my family. My mom, you know, sometimes she, couldn't, she can't find me in the house, and she'll say, call my sister and say, Maria's disappeared. I'm worried she's killed herself, but I have a hair appointment in town. <laughs> and... So she handles it pretty yeah, well. No, she exactly. handles it pretty well. It's just kind of a. You, you've been very open about uh, mental illness, yes. your anxieties and your depression yes. about that. Yes. Um, uh, you've got a great album called Unwanted Thoughts Syndrome. Yes. Have you had any unwanted thoughts lately that you'd care to share with well, us? Um... Or do you have to <laughs> go to a professional before you share with well, us? Well, there are. It is a type of OCD, which I didn't un realize uh, that it, uh, if you have unwanted. Violent or sexual thoughts, oh, uh, for really? example, if you're con concerned about, um, let's just say, chopping up a, your parents into chunks and bits and having the sex with the chunks and bits and putting those chunks and bits on a cob salad and tossing it and feeding it back to a family member, mm -hmm. you might want to talk to somebody and it's not... Yeah. It's not... <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's a, it, there's a difference between that and psychosis. Psychosis is when you, is when you actually uh, are, are going to do those things, have a plan. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> if you are afraid of doing it and you're just gripping your fists at odd intervals or, yeah. or you're humming a song to keep yourself from being gay, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, there, is there a song? Is there a song you could sing to keep you from being gay? Uh, I mean, uh, not everybody would want to sing. Some people would want to be gay, but are there some people? Is there a song? Okay. I didn't realize there was a. If I keep my ice cream trays filled, no one will die. As long as I like, clench my fist at odd intervals, then the darkness that's within me won't force me to do anything inappropriately violent or sexual or violent or sexual <laughs> at dinner parties. As long as I keep. Singing a song, I won't turn gay. <laughs> God can't get you if you're singing a song. <laughs> it's a message of hope. <laughs> Maria Bamford, you have just made my week fantastic for oh, being God. here. Thank you so much for being here. Give it up, everybody, for Maria Bamford. <laughs> she appears at the Marines Memorial Theater in San Francisco on January 21st and 22nd as part of the San Francisco Sketch Fest. We'll be right back.